That's not bad. I like it. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. One thing that's super important to mention is that this pack right now is in pre-alpha phase. But I was assured by one of the pack developers that most of the beginning content is finished. So be sure to smash like to keep the series going and subscribe so that you can find the channel again. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Okay, so today what we're going to be working on is uh, Precision Assembly from Create. Mainly we're going to be making the Coke brick, uh, the Coke oven, which we need to make Coke bricks through sequenced assembly. Uh, requires a whole bunch of Coke brick, construction paste, with paper run through four times, and we need, uh, what, 27 of these guys? So it's going to be a lot. Uh, and then since we went to... Uh, Atum and uh, went and got ourselves some moral from the other dimension. We'll also be able to make the blast brick for the uh, for the blast oven, so that we can start making uh, steel. And then with steel, we can upgrade our armor. Finally, I'm running around without a chest plate. So the first thing that we should make in the book, let's see, Coke brick, Coke brick blend requires cinder flour and cinder flour can only be made in the crushing wheel with netherrack. So we have to make the crushing wheel and to make the crushing wheel, we have to make the mechanical crafters. Okay, so let's get started with the mechanical crafters. Uh, I think I did the math correct. Uh, we are going to make a little bit different design than what we're used to since this is expert mode. We're going to make 25 of them instead of the normal 21 because the crushing wheels only require 21. But I'm going to fill in the uh, corner slots and put uh, crafter, cots, cl <laughs> crafter slot covers over these ones because there's going to be crafts in expert mode that require all 25 so like the full corner so i'll set it up in advance uh let's see mechanical crafters nine of them cogwheels brass casings electron tubes so we'll put two of them away for right now there we go we got our 25 now, where should we set these guys down? I kind of want to turn this into a building eventually. Oh, and if you noticed, uh, I got, uh, I went to a flower biome to find corn flour so that we could put luck on our cleaver. And uh, I found these really awesome trees. So I decided to accent the Jacaranda with a lighter purple as well. I think it looks really cool. I like it. But yeah, back to what we were doing. <laughs> we need to put this in a way that we could kind of form a room around it later. Let's go ahead. How about here? Yeah, that's going to be good. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four. 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 All right, and we have a fly visiting us. Okay, let me grab the... Oh, I did put it in here. We need to make sure that all of these dudes are facing down. Okay, so let's see down yeah because i wanted to hop up so that all of them are automatically facing down so we need them all to face down and then the bottom row we need it to go to the middle there we go and then it'll pop out the bottom cool so right about here we'll put a cog wheel right and we can hook it up to the existing system that we have let's grab a small cog wheel Let's see, there we go. And let's see, can I attach it to the side? Yeah, they changed it. Cool, I like that. So we'll do that, and then it needs to come down, right? 
We need to attach it back here. So one, two, three. Where's my excavator? Where is my timer? Is it this way? Is it this way? There it is. Okay, so I was just being impatient. I just needed to go a little bit further. <laughs> it's lined up perfectly. How did I do this by accident? Okay. And let's make 100% sure. Yeah. Let's put some, some torches down. So that we don't have any hostile mobs spawning down here to bug us. Alright, so we're going to have to run the shaft this way and then up. So we need two gearboxes and a whole lot of shaft. Head this way. All right, we're gonna go up one. And vertical, nice. Shaft, vertical. Cool. Oh, and it's not hooked up to the fast boy. It's hooked up to the slow boy. Oops. Okay, so we built a second windmill on stream. And uh, we are ready to hook up the second windmill to the mechanical crafters and to the crushers once we get that guy going. So let's head back down here. All right, yep. We should be able to do horizontal one one vertical and two horizontal. Okay, so the vertical one needs to come over here. There we go. Then we need to turn the corner. Yep. And turn the corner again. There we go. Alright, and everything down here is lit up so we don't have to worry about it. That goes into our rotation speed controller. So let's grab some dirt so that we can get back out. Okay, it is sunset, so let's go ahead and sleep. Cool, so let's see how fast this guy can go. Can't do 70. 69? <laughs> 66. Okay, so one windmill hooked up can run 25 of these guys at 66. Alright, so we need to make some crafted covers, right? Uh, brass. We need to... We need one, two, three, four. All right, and we're gonna put the crafter covers in the corners. Since we don't need these guys right now uh, for the crushing wheel. We need andesite alloy, we need brass, casing, and we need a shaft in the dead center. So let's grab some brass casings. Brass. We have one. How many do we make in a craft? Four. Okay, so we'll just make four new ones. Four brass plates, and we need polished... What, whatchamacallit? Polished wood planks, which I don't think I have anymore. So 32 soul shard enchanted ash. Let's just make some new ones real quick. Alright, we need 32, we have 31, let's see, we should have, yep, yeah. so 32, a sliver, and enchanted ash, and a bucket of water. Alright. 
32. Q, Q, stir. Call me stir. So there's our polished wood. All right. And brass. Casing, four of them. And a side alloy. And then we can see how fast this guy crafts. Most people don't like this way, this form of crafting, because it's so slow. And I'm curious, I have not run it at this, these speeds yet, so I'm kind of curious how fast it goes. That's not bad. I like it. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Too cool. So we have our crushing wheels. Compared to brass, when I uh, made them with just enough. Yeah, we could we could take a lunch break before these guys finished. All right, so we have crushing wheels, and I already made two more. Yeah, two more rotation speed controllers and two cog wheels for the backs of these guys, so we can even rotate them backwards. All right, we're gonna need a chest. Uh, I would say let's keep going with the aesthetic with spruce. Let's just use this guy for right now. And let's set up the crushing wheels next to this. In the same row. Just in case we put a wall up. And then do we still have extra shoot? Yeah. And the hopper. Alright, let's see. We toss things in here. Will it go in? Yeah. All right, so we have this. Now we need to have one block space. The crushing wheels need to go up one and over one. Like this. Then I crush it. No, Nate, let's go back one. Like that. Okay, they need to crush. And I really shouldn't be using dirt. Because if I vein mine, it'll vein mine under the grass and make a hole under me. Uh, just use the Avalaster. So back here need to be cogwheels, and under them need to be rotation speed controllers. Like that. And we'll put the cogwheels in. Well, okay, so from here we definitely need a horizontal gearbox. Yeah, and then we need a vertical gearbox to make it come down. Shaft, shaft, and then we need to do the same thing again. We need to connect it to horizontal gearbox. Shaft. Hmm. Vertical gearbox. Boom. Overstressed. But that's fine. We can turn the uh, the uh, mechanical crafters down. Got these running on 16. So this one is turning the correct direction. This one is turning the incorrect direction. So we're going to set this one to negative. Go negative 16. All right. 
we're up and running. Let's see how, if we can make these a little faster, though. So let's go... Let's do 150. Let's, let's see if we can turn this guy down. Eight. That works. So we'll run these guys at 150, and that guy at 8, since we're not using him right now. And let's see, we need... Nether rack, which I dumped all inside. Let's see, we should have nether rack, yep. Grab the nether rack. Because, as far as I understand, this is the only way we can make cinder flour. So let's see. Another rack. And we're making cinder flour. Awesome. And that should take care of our basalt powder. Okay, cool. So we got basalt powder, we have cinder flour. Clay balls and water. So let's make an infinite water source next to the mixer. So we can come over here to the mixer. Water. Cinder flour. How many do we need? Do we need to toss these all in separate? Cinder flour, basalt, clay. Mixing it up. The bubbling noise is kind of cool. And... Where'd it go? It's still in there? Oh, there it is. Coke Brick Blend. We made 40. Cool. Okay. Wow. That wasn't as bad as I thought. We need... What? Dude. How many do we need? Okay, so we need 27 blocks to make the coke brick, or the coke oven. So we need 9 crafts of these. And each craft has to go through 4 times. So 36 in each row. Oh, okay, let's make the rest of these. Water... Clay, basalt, cinder flour. I think only three crafts if we do full stacks, right? Cinder flour, basalt. That looks like it should be enough. We put them in the ground like this, it takes a little bit. We get a little bit less back. But it's faster. So we'll put down one more deployer. We can run around the back and we can attach another gearbox to this guy. Okay, so now we have a fourth hand and a fourth hopper. There we go. So the first one is going to be coke bricks. Coke bricks, coke bricks, construction paste. This guy's running at full speed, 256. Mm -hmm. Paper. Huh. Now this thing is in the way. Big ol' bummer. Okay, so we moved all of the hoppers to the top. Now it shouldn't be a problem.
There we go. <laughs> this is too cool. And I did my math correct for once. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so now we have the Coke oven and we have the blast furnace. Let's see. Normally, I'm not really a fan of having these guys above ground. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop in our blocks of coal. Let this guy start making coal coke for us. And we can switch over to making the blast brick, which also requires paper run through four times. We need red nether brick, which is going to be nether bricks and nether wart. Or we can sandpaper them all to save on nether wart. We need more coke brick, and we need blast brick, which requires blast brick blend. That requires blaze powder, coke dust, okay, gunpowder, water, and marl from, uh, from autumn. So strange sand and clay mixed together makes marl. But we also mar mined up some marl while we were there. We do have to wait for the coal coke, though. So we can uh, run it through the pulverizer, turn it into coal coke dust. Alright, so this bad boy is working. It's making coal coke. We need three blocks of coal coke before we can make the blast oven. Went ahead and I set a basic fluid tank seared gauge with a switch. So it will always dump the creosote uh, as soon as it fills this up. We could also replace this with a trash can if we wanted to get rid of the creosote completely. But uh, what we're going to work on while we're waiting for the coal coke so that we can make steel uh, the proper way, let's also make the steel bee. The steel bee uh, has a very simple block mutation. This probably will get changed uh, when the pack is finalized, but all we need is an iron bee and a block of coal. So the iron bee just needs to fly over uh, a block of coal, and it will turn into the spawn egg for the steel bee, which will be able to make steel honeycombs, and that will grind out into steel. So, let's see. We need nine pieces so that we can make a block. There we go. Let's head over to the bee mutation area that I have set over here. All right, we're, I guess we could put it here. And then all we need to do is we need to switch out one of the bees with an iron bee. Let's see, there's our iron bee. And we just need to wait for uh, one of the bees to pop out. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this bee. This bee. flowers. Alright, let's see. He should cover... He should walk over the block of coal now. Perfect. And we have our steel bee spawn egg. That's awesome. There's our iron bee. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up and we can drop down our steel bee. Nice. Cool. So what I did over here with the multi servo press, I made the metal press mold for unpacking, which is just constantan plates, invar plates, and uh, any plank. And uh, the nether wart blocks, I've gathered so many of these guys. The only way we can break these down into nether wart is by running it through uh, with this mold. So we have our nether wart now, and with the nether wart, we'll be able to make red nether brick. So we're covered on red nether brick because we only need 36 of these guys. Let's also head over here to where we have been casting out the blazing blood. We have a ridiculous amount of blaze rods. <laughs> So let's go ahead and grab some blaze rods and then we can also we can turn them into blaze powder this way. Sweet. 
There we go. Two stacks of blaze powder. For the blast brick, we're going to need blaze powder, marl, gunpowder, coke dust, and water. We have the gunpowder, we have the marl. We now have the red nether brick. We need the coal coke, and we need uh, the coke brick, which I believe I have uh, coke brick cooking up over here as well, so we should be good on coke brick as well. Right here, yep. All right, so let's head over here. We need to do 36 of the red nether brick in the first one. So, red nether brick. We need 36 of the coke brick in the second one. And then we need to make blast brick. And we need 36 construction paste in the last one. So the only thing that's holding us back right now is the... Pulverized cold coke, which we just need one more. So as soon as this is done burning, we can pulverize it real quick. All right, and we're good to go. So let's head over to the mixer so we can make this blend and add it to the third deployer. Let's go water, marl, gunpowder, blaze powder, and cold coke dust. Pretty cool. Alright, that gives us exactly the 36 blast brick that we blend that we need to make the blast bricks. So let's toss these guys into the toss it in over here. The redstone furnace. There we go. That's our 36 blast brick. And now we just need to grab nine pieces of paper so that we can run it through the machine real quick. Let's see, where did I drop off my paper? Nine pieces of paper. Right, blast brick and paper. There we go. Whoops. There's our blast furnace. All right, let's grab our hammer. head on over here. Let's see, maybe we can do something like this. Oh. And there we go. We have our blast oven going. So now we'll be able to move the cold coke over to here to the uh, to the blast furnace, and let's grab some of our iron. And then while we wait, uh, let me check out the armor real quick that I want to make. It's made out of steel. This armor is going to also require sequenced assembly. The first one requires steel, and then it's three of the. Uh, metal presses after that. So let's go ahead. We can replace one, two, three of these dudes. Let's see, they're throwing them over here. There we go. And we can replace them with three of the mechanical presses. One, two, three. Oh, it's overstressed. So these guys, they take more 
than the deployer. So let's turn this guy down. 188 is the lucky number. So what we need to do is, let's see, the armor that I have, the Quinn's reinforced is 3.1 and 1.16. So the Quinn's helmet is actually better than the steel helmet. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, I definitely need a new chest plate because it broke and the steel leggings we can replace. This is just five and the steel leggings have six and one. So let's go ahead and see. So we're only going to need two pieces of steel. So we can make chainmail leggings, and I'm assuming we're going to make the uh, chainmail chest plate. And that's made out of flex mesh or chain plating. Okay, iron nuggets and iron ingots. Simple enough. Let's go ahead and make that. How are we doing over here? Almost. I have a feeling that by the time we make the two armors, we'll have the steel that we need. There we go. Block mutation. So I put two pieces of coal down, and the pollinated steel bee turned them into blocks of steel. Nice. So we have two blocks of steel. Let's go ahead and fill these holes. And head over to the blast oven, where we're making it the way the uh, expert mode wants us to make it. Over here, I switched over one of the pieces of coal coke. Yep, yeah, there we go slag and blocks of steel so now we have the uh steel that we need we need what 16 right 16 pieces we'll put the 16 in here there we go we're gonna make the chest plate and we're going to make the leggings Hmm. What went wrong here? We got the chest plate. Let me put that on. What happened to the leggings? Turned into a steel plate. But why? Okay, so eight and the leggings. We go so it needed less than eight i think that's why it has oh it still had the eight from before hmm but we have the steel leggings that's the important part so now we have upgraded to steel armor it looks pretty snazzy i'm gonna keep the slime boots because uh there's a higher chance of me croaking from falling from somewhere high than from being beaten up by mobs. So the slime boots are way better. And the Quinn's reinforced ironclad helmet uh, has better stats than the steel helmet, but I'm glad that we got to upgrade our helmet and now we're running on steel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. 
the VODs will be saved there.